Hello, welcome to Vishwa Bloom. So today I am here with a new topic, logarithm. So this is the last part of our textbook, as well as we are so excited to learn the new topic, logarithms, right? So let me begin with the chapter. This first aim is very very simple. So let's begin with the aim. So logarithms. First and foremost thing is to know the definition of logarithm. So let a and n belong to rational positive real numbers. So a and n are positive real numbers where a is not equal to one and a power x is equal to n. Okay. So x is a real number in such a way that a power x is equal to n. Then what do we call this? we call this as when it is written in the logarithmic form it is x is the logarithm of n to the base a so what do we say we just write it as x is equal to log uh, n to the base a so what do we call this x is the logarithm of n to the base a understood so let me be more clear with this so let's take multiple examples to understand this. It's really simple when you understand and the challenges are going to be really, really simple once you understand, right? So let me discuss it even more deeper with a lot more examples. Now, as you are new to this chapter, first, let's convert a simple exponential form numbers into logarithmic form. So first and foremost thing is to note that what is exponential form? So now, if, if I give you a number, say 8. Now, how would you write its exponential form? How would you write the exponential form for 8? Obviously, we'll do its prime factorization. And you will write it as 2 cube. Because 2 into 2 into 2 is 8. Am I correct? So, this is the exponential form of 8. Now, let me just move this here and move this to the RHS. Sorry. So, I'm going to write it as 2 cube is equal to Eight. Now logarithmic form, you would be tempted to see that uh, logarithm defini definition, whichever example I have given, I think you would be scared. But now I will make it really, really clear for you so that you will do all the remaining problems. But even though I will give you the right solutions too. So don't worry about that. First, exponential form of 8 was 3 is to 2 cube. You all know this. Now let us write this exponential form in the logarithmic form. So how do we write? First and foremost thing, the power of the, you know, the LHS part 2 cube is there, right? So what is the power here? So power you all know, right? What it is? Or else we can call it as exponent. That is 3. So first you will take that 3 here. And you will keep the equal to as it is here. And then you are going to use the word log to represent logarithm. Okay. So it is a shortcut which we have to use. While notations when you are writing you will be using log L O G. Understood. Next this 8 will be written as it is next to log. 8 is being written until here I hope it is clear. Then what is left out? What is the base here? It is 2. That is not mentioned here. So that base is going to be the, ba be the base as it is. That means whatever the base is there, right? You are going to write it below the log. Understood? So let me make it clear once again. Okay. First and foremost thing, what we did, we understood the power. First, what is the exponent? We have to take it out. Exponent was 3 here. We picked it out. We put the equal to as it is there and just we had to write a short notation log and then the 8 which is there on RHS would be headed there as it is and the base that is the base for the exponent 3 which is 2 will be written as 2 which is the base for this logarithmic form also. So now I hope you understood this example. If you didn't understand you have to recap in the sense go back and you have to watch it once again so that it will be more and more clear to you. So that is what is there completely in this aim. So let us move forward with challenger questions. So let's begin. Now after viewing the introduction, you can simply easily solve these two questions. Okay. So 
comment me the answer around take two minutes of time to comment the answer just solve it and do comment the answer because trying because maths doesn't come come overnight you have to practice since from the beginning so that you will be perfect so try to comment this answer and know your level in the sense how much you understood we'll be able to understand and we'll be more and more clear if you comment the answer right so i hope if you need more time please pause the video and comment the answer so now i will be revealing the answers fine now first and foremost thing what i have told is the power power has to be written in big form here you will write it as 5 and is equal to as it is now after is equal to immediately you will write a notation log and 243 will be written as it is 243 and the base whatever is left out will be the base for log now how do we read it now i am explaining how do we read it because you have to read and read it right when somebody asks you to read out you should be able to know so when i keep reading you will be able to understand and you will ha have a habit of it so what you are going to tell is phi is called the logarithm of 243 to the base 3 okay just listen it again phi is called the logarithm of 243 to the base 3 understood now this is how you have to read it out make a practice of it to be frequent in the sense whenever you see you should be able to tell next the second question is also quite a simple one so guess this obviously exponent is 3 so first you will equate with 3 is equal to after is equal to immediately you will write a notation of log and which is followed by the same number which is there 216 and what is left out it is the base so it's same thing you are going to keep it as the base now these two questions are clear i am hoping and let's hop to the third and fourth questions okay let's move on so third question 3 power minus 4 is equal to 1 by 81 so when you are seeing this minuses and reciprocals don't be tense it's actually the same way you do so don't worry i'll be helping you out first what is the exponent there it's minus 4 write it with the sign don't skip the sign don't forget about it then is equal to immediately place the log and 1 by 81 as it is and what is left out it is just the base so write that base below done so there is nothing to get scared of this right next we will look at the fourth one also now what is the power here 10 is equal to after is equal to immediately log and the same number will be uh, transferred down and what is left out it is the base put it to the base So first bit is completed. Let's move on to the second bit now. Now, in the first bit, what we did, the exponential one, we have converted into logarithmic form. Now, in the second bit, what they are asking us to do, logarithmic form is being asked to convert into exponential form. Understood? So I'll tell you that. So first one, that's why it's so detailed. I'll explain. Okay. So please put your attention here. So log thousand to the base ten is equal to three. Clear. Now, now first and foremost thing, what was this? You should remember this. Okay. First, now I'll give you an example. Three power five is equal to two forty three. When we did, what we did here? What was the answer? I'll just write the answer. Five is equal to log two forty three to the base five. Sorry, to the base three. Correct. So what was this? It was the base, and what was this? This is a number which has to be on the RHS, and this five is the power. So by seeing this only, you have to go and do this kind of problems. Now don't worry, I'll help you out. Okay, so let me clear this. Okay, done. Now this three is the power, so make it small now, and this ten is the base. Which comes to our side and becomes the base is equal to thousand. The log will go right. That's it. It's very very simple. Okay. Now by doing the second question, third question, fourth question, it will be very very simple. So let us do now. Now second main second one. So log sixteen to the base two is equal to four. Now same thing. First this 
I'll tell you a few steps. Just remember that and follow it. Okay. This big four make it small. Okay. It is going to be the power. Okay. And this small two make it big because it is going to be the base. Right. Log. Remove log. Okay. Whatever is 60, put it here. Done. We are done. This is very simple, right? So, we will do the third one also. Similar way. Okay. Second nine, third and fourth question we will do. So, first, what I told you, this minus 3 will become very small. Bigger number will become small. In the sense, I am referring to the power, okay? Whenever I am saying it is becoming small, I am referring to the word power. And this base, which is so small, it will become big. In the sense, it is the base of the exponent now. So, it's big, right? Log, cut off. Then, 0 0.001. That's it, okay? I hope you understood this one. So next, we will move on to the next part. Here, 3, it will become small, the power. And 0 0.1 is the power. Sorry, base. Let's put it there. Log, cut it off, 0 0.001. Clear. Now it is done, right? Second main is also completed. Let's move on to the third main now. Before starting question number 3, I want to tell you two things. First and foremost thing is that question number 3, question number 3 and 4 will be homework in this. So you have to come in the answer. And second most thing which I have wanted to tell you is, before starting question 3, I have to tell you two important, you know, I could say they are the root points or the formulae which you have to be using the logarithms. Okay, so if I discuss these two, then only we will be able to solve the third question, which is the evaluate, evaluate the following. So, first and foremost thing which we have to know is that when there is a question like, okay, one second, let me just be clear. When we have log b power m to the base a power m, then how would we simplify this out, okay? There is one formula for this. Now, when this b is having the power m, that m will be in front of the log, okay? And this n will be divided by, sorry, n, it will be m by n, okay? In the denominator, this will go. The base's power will go to the denominator and b's power will go to the numerator. And then log b, the base a, okay? So, you should remember this first and foremost thing which I have wanted to say. And second thing which I wanted to tell you is, you remember this formula, okay. So, this is very important. That is why I have discussed because without this we can't solve the problem. Next, log, when we are having, see log A to the base A. When both the, you know this A, that I, A as well as this A, when they are equal, Okay, when both are same, then the value is 1. Just simply 1, that's it. So, you should remember this also. This is the second thing. Okay, so these three things I have discussed, I have told you. So, now we will move on to the third equation. So, first I'll write the question and keep it. Okay, so third main first question. It is log 343 to the base 7. So, this is one of the... Like I am discussing only the, the two toughest questions actually, okay? Like which are different in form, which are easy, I am leaving it to you, okay? First, log, this 49 can be written as 7 square and 343 can be written as 7 cube, okay? Now you should immediately, in your mind, uh, that formula has to strike immediately. What is that? Log a, sorry, log b to the power n to the base a power n n what was it it was m by a log b to the base a so you should remember this immediately and now what we are going to do first this 3 will be there divided by the basis power which is 2 and log 7 to the base 7 now second thing what i have told that you have to remember when the base and as well as the number both are same then it is always equal to the one okay when the logarithm of a number to the same base is always one so what it is this is all one 
So, 3 by 2 multiplied by 1. What is it? 3 by 2. So, what is your answer? It's just 3 by 2. Now, let's look at the second question also. This is one of the toughest one. Okay. Now, log 1 by 1024 to the base 1 by 8. Now, you all know, right, 1 by 8 is nothing but it is just the reciprocal of 8, which can be written as 8 to the power minus 1. Clear. So, I am going to use the same thing here. Log 1 by 8 is 8 to the power minus 1. And 21024, it is 2 to the power minus 10. Understood. So, again, 8 to the power minus 1, I want to try it as the power of 2. Log. 2 power minus 10 to the base 2 to the power minus 3. Now just remember the same formula again. So minus 10 will be put first. Then divided by a minus 3. Log 2 to the base 2. Right. Now just cancel out the minuses. Now log 2 to the base 2. So the logarithm of a number is equal to the same base. Right. So what is its value? 1. So, 10 by 3 multiplied by 1 is nothing but 10 by 3 itself. So, this is the answer. Now, with this, we have completed the AIM-1 challenges, right? So, this is the third question, sorry. Made a mistake. Okay. So, thanks for watching our video. So, thanks for watching again. Do like, share and subscribe to Vishwavyums. Keep supporting and don't forget to click the bell icon. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.